Hey, what's up? So today I'm at M3 Mall at uh, Taman Melati area and there's a mall, there's a bike shop that I've been wanting to visit quite for quite some time already it's called Turbo Mat and if you don't know who's Turbo Mat, basically Turbo Mat they are the uh, distributor for CSPD la. so if you want to get CSPD jersey they are the, the peeps to get it from and also they are organizing a Fraser Hill ride which I am joining this weekend la. It's so fun way. Hey May! Hi, I'm Owen. Hey, what a weird coincidence we have made here. It wasn't <laughs> planned or it wasn't planned at all. So let's check out the shop. Hello. Hey, hey! Go the Kedai. Like, if I bring my kids here, I can play hide and okay. seek, way. Can huh? cycle here. This is such a child friendly shop. You bring your kids here, uh, parents can shopping, the kids can play hide and seek. Perfect. Hi, welcome, Elvin. My name is Farhan here, over here. Come, bring us, bring us around your shop. I see you can. So here we have an entry level bike, cam and tweeter. Uh, price range from three thousand and five thousand smart. Three thousand and five thousand. Yeah, for a tweeter Shimano one hundred and five is four thousand five hundred. Okay. And then this one is fast bike from Botecia. Botecia, Italy. From, from Italy, they also compete in Gito de Lanka ah, recently. Yeah. Ada, ada. I yeah. jumpa logo dia. So what's the price point for Botak Chia? Ah, okay, starting here is 17,105 group set. This one is Altegra, 23, around that. Okay, there, so there also they have an e-bike over there. Okay. Sini, ada apa? This one is accessory items. We have a Rover wheel set, stuff. And then yours one is Parkos or Renault Display. Oh, oh Parkos. And then stuff from Australia lah, this one. Ah, from Australia. So we also provide Garmin and Wahoo for the distribute, uh, de dealer, sorry. Okay. Okay. So, so we have this one, uh, tire over here, some more. And then we have another section over there, the uh, mechanic section. Okay. It's a gravel bike. I think your content don't have a gravel bike so yet. I, I, I think gravel bike. <laughs> so you have to try. <laughs> a gravel, gravel bike, he asked me why my content don't have gravel bike. Number one, I don't have a gravel bike. Number two, I scared my bicycle dirty. <laughs> Never mind. So this one is entry level uh, gravel bike cam. This one is specialized diverge using okay. SRAM FX. Harga 12k. So all, all these are around what, what's the price right here? This one is 12k. This one is entry level 2019. Okay. This uh, apparel from Castelli and then we have a new latest version of specialized. This one. Oh. The design is from MAAP. Yeah. Hold on, uh, my uh, customer. Customer? Yes, customer always come first. So I'm looking around Turbo Mat. Uh, oh my goodness, the shop is so big. Eh? It's like, let me think. If I would if I would look at the bike shop, right? Um, generally, there is like one, two, three. I think Turbo Mat took about four shop lots here. KK! Four shop lots are here? Yes. Four? Four, almost uh, 5,000 square feet, I think. Bigger than Texas chicken, eh? So my tour guide is busy now, so my well I bring myself around lah, let him do his work lah. Customer always come first. So if you don't know Turbomat, they are also the authorized reseller for for uh, specialized. So we do see some specialized bikes here as well lah. And also I noticed they have quite a lot of jersey. They have from Castelli. Uh, they have specialized jersey. What else do they have? I see them carrying quite a lot of cool wheel set as well from. Um, Princeton to Smoky. Is it called Smoky or Smoke Carbon? To Rolf. Um, they have Shocks. They have what else is this? They have POC, POC products. They have, oh my goodness, sunglasses. They have a lot of sunglasses. Uh, Alba Optics. 100%. POC as well, POC. Remember they have Blitz? Oh, they have Blitz. They have Blitz. We have performance wear from Castelli, from Specialized. 
There's some Markov products as well. So they do cater quite a large segment of customers from uh, road bikes to gravel bikes. But what's interesting is they also have foldies for all your foldy y'alls. So foldies, foldies from Dahon, from Camp. So we have KK here right now and KK is going to show us CSPD. CSPD is actually stands for Concept Speed Peach Design. Uh, the designer is based in Thailand and they have different range of materials and designs, I guess. They are very popular in Korea as well as Singapore right now, right? Yes, yes. Because, uh, you see, the thing is, um, a lot of people, you know, have the perception that maybe an Asian brand is not on par as like a European brand, but because it's made in Thailand, it's very much more suitable for our weather. Mm. So the oh, so it's Asian, Asian fit and Asian size and Asian yes. weather and yes. everything. So, Usually, if people, as soon as they wear concept suit, you can see that they look very, very good. Because it just suits our body proportion. And then it's just really well made for our weather. Because our weather is very hot. Sometimes other brands, they're a bit too thick. So, uh, most of my customers that worn concept suit, they always come back for it. The price ranges for jersey ranges from 500 plus all the way to 800 plus. For bibs, it's a 900 plus to 1000 plus. But you get what you pay for. It's a premium pricing, but the quality is really, really, really good. The jersey here, are, they are really, really stretchable and very, very breathable. So this is the essential line, the end, uh, sort of like the entry model for this. It's essential because you can use it for your everyday training and rides. And uh, can you show? I, I think the design of the logo at the back is the most attractive one. Can you show yes. the back? They're known for this. So a lot of people actually like the, the, the logo. Yeah. It looks fast. It looks it's concept speed, so That's yeah. right. you, you do, you do, you know, save a few watts by wearing it. <laughs> you feel like you save a few watts. Yeah. They come in long sleeves as well. Matters. And they all have a UV protection. We have the socks over here, then they make gloves and arm cover as well. We have the exile bibs. Oh, the bibs. Oh, okay. So this is what I heard about the bibs. Uh. Hey, wait, where's Angeline? Angeline! Come here! Come here. He did tell me that... Um, CSPD beep is actually very good. You want to give a quick review if you can with your voice? Uh, longer rides. Um, I have tried several brands. I cannot name the brands. Yeah. The brands. I think it's not nice, right? Uh, not nice. I'll censor that out later. <laughs> and we, we all tested several. And we find both of us agreed that the um, chamois... Yes. Uh, chamois. Yes. And all these are, really all these are honest review, right? And Sometimes you just need honest review because Though some bit fit for some, some doesn't fit like for right. So if you're looking for options like uh, CSPD could be an option for you if you're going for long rides. So for rides that's like um, about a hundred or Audex rides, we don't really have chefing. Is it? So it's really that good? Yeah, no, the not, not much chefing and then um, technically, yeah, it's like we don't have any issue la, on the buttocks if we wear this. Same thing with Irwin. All tested and proven by few uh, cyclists and not sponsored, not paid, so they like it. So if you, are, if you have a bib problem and you're still exploring for a good bib, you can consider CSPD. Lah. And these would last you on a saddle good for 6 hours compared to the original. That one is made in Italy, so it's good for up to rides up to 8 hours. 8 hours, yeah. hours. Mm. Okay, if you're a t-shirt kind of guy, they do have some t-shirt. Just to show you. I think that's about it. We toured most of the shop and they also have uh, helmets. Let me show you the helmets they have from Abus. They have from Abus all the way to what else do they have? Of course, the very popular cast. Cast, uh, POC. I always wonder, do you call it uh, POC or POC? So you have Wahoo pedals, look, physics shoes. Yeah, I think when it comes to coming to a bike shop, it's good to go to a bike shop where they have everything under the roof because you don't want to jump between bike shops. So I do find TurboMat having a very strong range of products from different distributors and different brands, which is very good for consumers. Uh. And of course, what is a bike shop without a bike mechanic? <laughs> so yeah, you can also send your bike here to service. And they also have some elite trainers. It's pretty cool in the sense that for a bike shop to carry a variety of brands. So I've been tasked by KK to try some baju. I'm going to be your model today. Please bagi chan. 
This is very embarrassing. Yes, BD free. Okay, just to let you know, apparently when you choose CSBD jersey, right? For example, for other brands, I normally wear XL, uh, but when it comes to CSBD, you need to go one to two size down. This L, you know. And she says it's an M. Let's see. Huh? I feel right. Like the fabrics are stretching to real life, you know. I literally see my skin, you know. Oh, and my, my nipple. Oh, why are you recording? Huh? <laughs> okay, so I've been educated by Angeline, and she mentioned that by buying a jersey that's tighter for CSPD, right, you don't have the chow chow. So the chow chow mean right, there's not a lot of folds in the area of the body lah which is then becomes a parachute for the, when you're cycling which is what I mentioned like over I think it was 2 weeks or 3 weeks ago I mentioned in my vlog which is when you wear a jersey it's good that you go to this position and you see the chow chow right when there's not a chow chow means the jersey is going to have a lot of drag a lot of walk weightage wastage so I think this one no chow chow Angeline is on to something here so when you buy jersey buy a size down but for CSPD, it's two size down. Normally, I wear XL. I'm wearing this M, you know. M, you know. And this is what I've come to a realization. Uh. Right. First thing is, look at it. It's quite actually breathable. You can see through me. That's number one. And of course, you do appreciate, I think in every jersey, right, you do appreciate a good zip. And the YKK zip is of course second to none. You know I'm a big fan of YKK. Even like my bag is a YKK zip, so I'm a big fan of YKK zip. Remember the YKK zip and all, yeah. Then one thing I realized when you are gonna test a CSPD jersey that is relatively a bit tighter here. There's no fault of CSPD. It's the fault of all the pizza that I ate for the past few years. It's on jersey, what you pay is what you get, right? The question is not really what you pay is what you get. The question is about what you invest in. So if you do buy something that is of a higher price range, uh, I'm not just talking about CSPD, I'm talking about generally in all jersey, okay? I'm gonna be very fair here. I have compared, of course, jersey from lower uh, price range of like 150, 180 ringgit, aero jersey, compared to, let's say, for example, uh, 500 ringgit to 800 ringgit aero jersey. I can tell you one thing, and it's based on personal opinion as well, that a more expensive jersey that you invest in would last you longer. For example, one of my aero jersey that I have, that's priced above 500 ringgit, lasted me for at least three years. So I do feel that the material that the CSPD is using is actually very, it's a very nice compression feeling to it. And I do expect it to last you at least two, three years. I don't know, but again, um, don't put my word into it because I've never tested it. But this is my point of view that it's, I guess, I suppose what you pay is definitely what you get. And one thing I do like about the bib. So I did buy a bib, that's <laughs> not cheap, okay? I bought a bib that's about 700, about 800 ringgit bib. And they use gluing method at certain stretch point of the bib. And honestly, I hardly use that bib because it's so expensive. And after using that bib for about one year, the gluing came out at the stretch point, which is around this area here, which is around the belly here. It came out and I cannot use the bib anymore. So what I noticed about CSPD bib, right? All the stress point or where the stress, high stress level is of the fabric is all wire stitching, which I think you cannot beat stitching over glue lah. Any day, any time lah. And of course, one thing I also noticed about CSPD is the logo is gonna be, of course, uh, <laughs> there are some bib that I know that is about 500 ringgit, right? The logo peels off after a year. I'm not gonna say the brand, but it's an European brand lah. It's not cheap as well. But the CSPD, they use this very strong, thick, uh, logo printing thing i don't know what is it but it's a stretchable kind of material i think it's going to last you quite long as well and what i do appreciate is the fabric uh it has a very nice compression feel to it uh. so okay I'm, I'm not being paid to do this i'm just going to tell you my personal opinion on cspd and the reason why i'm doing this is because i like kk she, she has a nice shop in m3 mall so that's it Beli baju bro? Uh, tak lah. <laughs> uh, you know, come and visit. Probably the biggest bike shop in Klang Valley right now. It is. <laughs> Besar gila weh. Yeah, so check out Turbo Man and there's definitely a lot of products here. So I'm signing off again. I hope to see you this weekend. You guys stay awesome and be healthy. Take care.